everybody of YouTube, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a video review of iOS 15 on my iPhone XR right here. As you can see, this is iPhone XR. And as you can see, there's my vaccine sticker. I've been COVID-19 vaccinated. I already, I'm fully vaccinated, so yeah. So here's iOS 15 running on my iPhone XR right here. I'll, I'll show you the version number right now. Alright. There we go, iOS 15, well, iPhone 10R. The build number is 19A344. And I'm sorry that I haven't done a video review of iOS 15 in the summertime when I installed the public beta version of iOS 15 on my iPhone 10R. But yeah, the reason why is because I've been busy. I just moved to a new place. As you can see, I just moved right there. I moved my new place <laughs> yeah so this is my iPhone 10R mm -hmm. so here we go so right off the bat the first thing you, you can s notice is there are new icons for the map this icon and the weather icon right there so it's, it's, it's you can see that that the maps receive a new icon and so is the weather app the weather, the sun used to be on this side of the icon in iOS 14 and earlier. Now the sun moved to that side. And as you can see, it's also darker now. It used to be brighter. And the maps has changed. There used to be uh, interstate sign 280. I remember that. And then now they changed it up, as you can see. Well, I did install the public beta version of iOS 15. And it, it, I ran, uh, and it ran really smoothly. Unlike well, the time when I installed iOS 14.5, if you remember that, the iOS 14.5 of public beta, it ruined my phone. <laughs> I remember that. I had to take my phone to the Apple store because the Apple logo keep flashing on and off, on and off. And suddenly, and I think of, thankfully, I managed to fix it. I mean, thankfully, Apple m managed to fix it. So that's really good of them. I'm happy that they fixed my phone, so, and now it's running on iOS 15, successfully. I successfully updated the beta to the beta version, but now it's running the, right now it's running the RC version, the final version of iOS 15, which is coming out tomorrow, because right now it's September 19th, so I'm going to be doing a video review, so the very first cool feature of iOS 15 I'm going to show you is live text as you can see i have this booklet right here so i'm gonna be pasting a note so i'm gonna be show demo demoing you the live text feature the coolest one of the coolest feature of ios 15 so here we go uh, there's the camera thing so well as you can see uh, wait there we go but i put insert and look what happened <laughs> it's there can you believe that I didn't even paste or anything or did anything, so that's really cool. Yeah, that is cool. That's so cool, man. <laughs> and another coolest feature that I found on iOS 15, got to do with maps. So now on maps right here. We're now on maps, so I'm going to be zooming out. And as you can see, we got now the globe feature. <laughs> this is so cool. You got the globe feature. <laughs> now it's 15. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, this is so nice. And now the next feature that I'm gonna show you is the weather app. We got a redesign. As you can see, now we got cool redesign of the weather app. Now, now it shows you the map of the weather. That's so cool. The precipitations. It's really awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. And what else new with iOS 15? You can now take, you can now copy photos on the photo app too. So I'll show you some, show you that. Uh, show a photo of a text. If I can find one. There we go. So I got this photo right here. 
like now we can copy a text from a photo just right off a photo now you can paste it on a note so you can see right there <laughs> you can see that that was right on the picture <laughs> which is so cool one thing I cannot show you is visual lookup I couldn't find it I don't know why because this phone is a 10R it has the A12 Bionic the visual lookup is available on the A12 Bionic and later but I couldn't find it for some strange re reason now if I show you a photo of a flower or some this is a photo flower but right now it's not showing usually it will show the star but for some strange reason it's not showing me so I don't know if, it's, if we can just comment about down the middle video or something I don't know what's happening so so strange it's not showing up and what else is new with iOS 15 and I noticed you can now do a spotlight search on your lock screen as you can see you can do it in your lock screen which is so cool <laughs> it's nice and notifications has been redesigned as you can see now the icons are bigger now compared to iOS 14 now it's bigger it's really cool well yeah this is iOS 15 so cool and one other thing is the notification icon has read been changed yeah so nice i was 15 is so cool <laughs> but uh, it's not all cool because we didn't got the redesign it still looks identical to i was 14 almost so that was a little bit of disappointment there that was pretty disappointing we did still didn't have a redesign. It, the icon still looks the same other than that maps icon and the weather icon. We still didn't have a redesign. But one cool feature is in FaceTime, we got now copy links and face new FaceTime. You can click one of those. You can make a link, copy link. So yeah, but I cannot show you everything. I can I don't even. Well, I cannot even show you the full features because I don't know who to FaceTime right now. And yeah, we don't. I don't know how to food to FaceTime, and and there's some cool audio, cool features with FaceTime. We got now the you can blur the background with the portrait mode. You can now even FaceTime like Android people now. You can now FaceTime Android and Windows Windows computers now, which is so cool. Yeah, and we have a important change to do not disturb now so now we have a new feature called focus as you can see now we have focus it's an updated version of do not disturb and as you can see now we you have this these options right here so you can see that so that's so cool yeah iOS 15 will be available tomorrow for download so and also tomorrow in Canada, I'm I'm living in Canada. We have an elections. Uh, that's the reason another reason why I'm doing this video one day early because I'm gonna be working for the elections tomorrow. So wish me luck. <laughs> so yeah, this is I was 15 on my iPhone 10 R. <laughs> and as you can see, that like as you can tell that. The iPhone 10 are just as soon as the iPhone 13s came out, the iPhone 10 R was discontinued. It's no longer sold by Apple. Well, yeah, we so we got the cool feature. So I was 15. Yeah, I've been using iOS since iOS 1.0. Which is very long time. I had the first gen iPod Touch. So there we go. This is iOS 15. And I'm sorry for all the shakiness. Because I don't have a tripod on me. 
I do not own a tripod, so I'm sorry for the shakiness. I'm holding my iPad right now, so it's like, wow. And what else is new with iOS 15 is you can now also you can also change your focus status here too i've just realized that see you can now change your focus status status here so cool yeah basically that's it oh one more thing safari has changed as you can see we got the new safari now we can the safari is now redesigned now the url thing is in the bottom you can also change it to to go to the top too so you can see it goes to the top or you can you can go to the down which one whichever you like so that's really cool safari has changed i really liked it see now there's a new tab group yeah Okay, so this is so this is iOS 15 on my running my iPhone 10R. That is so cool, but we also on iOS iPad OS 15. Too bad I cannot show you iPad OS 15 because I'm filming my iPad right now. There has been many changes to the iPad. We got now widgets on the iPad. No, and we also got an app library in the iPad. It's too bad I can show you because I'm filming it on my iPad right now. I'm, I'm running iOS, I'm running iPad OS 15 on my iPad right now. So in my iPad 2018. So thanks, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Peace. One more cool feature I found in Maps is in San Francisco, California. Look, the landmark shows the exact thing. So you can see the exact display right there. So you see, it's so cool. It's on 3D. 3d view looks nice and if i can show you the one of the bridge if i can find a bridge that's uh, not working weird if i can you can see that uh so cool <laughs> yeah see that those buildings are so detailed and look at that <laughs> it's beautiful huh if I go to Apple Park it'll be much better You can see that is the Apple Park in Cupertino, the headquarters of Apple. Yeah, it's so detailed. Yeah, <laughs> but here in Vancouver, you're gonna really see it. I tried doing it in Vancouver, it just shows black buildings and stuff. This is Vancouver, <laughs> Richmond, BC. Well, you can a little see the BC Place a little bit. So see the BC Place Stadium. <laughs> but it's not as detailed as compared to San Francisco. So yeah. No. I really like the San Francisco map on 3D view. It's, it's so beautiful. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Peace.